for as we present a bout for the AWA Heavyweight Championship title. Introducing in the ring at this time, weighing 228 pounds from Tampa, Florida, with his ballet precious, he is gorgeous, Jimmy Garvin! corner to my right, weighing 238 pounds from Quebec City, Quebec. He is the AWA heavyweight champion, Rick Martel. Martel. One ball, 60 minute time limit. Your referee, Bob Warren. Here's Bergogna. Thank you, Doug. Well, this is the one this capacity crowd here at the Showboat Arena has been waiting for. Rick Martel, the world's champion against gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Oh boy. And all my friends up in New York, AC, are waiting for this one also. I'll tell you. And by Leon Van Billing. Everywhere you go, people talking about it. You can hear this jam-packed crowd. It's hard to see it in the TV lights here, but right. boy, oh ringside boy. for this one, the owner of the Chicago White Sox, Eddie Einhorn, at ringside. You think he's not loving this great action, I'll tell you. Herbie Mills of the Mills Brothers here in Las Vegas. Oh. And of course, the world-renowned. Don Rickles here in the audience tonight. They're all here to watch it for the AWA Championship crown. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin going to work on the champion, Rick Martell, and slamming him to the corner, but he got out of that one. Thank you. Move by Rick Martell. I, he is ready for this one tonight. Woo! I'll tell you. Everybody in the lead on their feet. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Rick Martell with no love lost between them. I'll tell you that. This move in the corner, he did. Look at this. Look out, Rick. Uh oh, uh oh, look out. Oh, he ducked out of him. Up he goes again. Oh, right down the atomic drop. And gorgeous Jimmy Garvin on his knees. Look at Rick Martell, the champion, smashed to the chest. And again, Jimmy Garvin climbs out of the roof. And Martell hauls it right back in again. Garvin. Oh. What action. This is a heavyweight championship. Oh, and I'm not kidding. I've seen a lot of champions around. I've been with myself. But Rick Martell looked like a world beater tonight. Like a world champion. Another smash by Martell. He came out absolutely fully wired for this encounter against gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. A rough, tough, very talented competitor for Florida. Ah, oh, elbow smash to the arm. Another one. A third one. This block on the arm. Now he pulls it back behind him again. All oh, the pain that Garvin's doing in that one. Yes, he had a lot of pressure put it on by that hammer lock. And here's the reward. Martell coming up with a double wrist lock. Look at this Tremendous power. What? Oh. Pulled back by the hair. And there's a choke hold. There's that choke. I don't know if the referee can no, see no, it. Now he's out of it. You clearly saw it, a choke hold. But for that grab of the hair, Martell would have had it. Taking that wrist lock behind him. Tremendously fast-paced uh, championship match here tonight here at the showboat. Oh, brother. Big, big crowd in Las Vegas. We're there were lined up by tickets hours before this match. We came down here to check things out. We could hardly get in. And it was hours till the match yet. But this is just one of the things they came to see. But look at these two go out of the way, heavyweight, heavyweight crowd. Martell. I know many of the people out of New York, Connecticut, uh, New Jersey area was certainly, uh, we're talking about this match and hoping that they get it for the Meadowlands. But oh. here it is in Las Vegas. They pull it off the ropes. Here's Garvin. Drag it oh, Martell turned it around. But a close line back from Garvin. There's the cover. Bob Orr, the referee, caught him too, but Martell kicks out of it. Excellent wrestlers, both of these men. And Look at this. Oh, 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 the referee did not ever. The referee was distracted by Precious. That would normally be Bergogna, but on a Disqualification, but referee Bob Warren was distracted by Jimmy Garvin's ballet. 
Precious and did yes, not see it. He was. The cameras did not pick that up, of course. But Precious was distracting. Oh. Bob Warren did not see it over the top. Look out. Tremendous oh. oh. power and strength and conditioning here shown by Rick Martell tonight. What you saw would have been an automatic disqualification, but the referee distracted by Precious this time. Legally thrown through the ropes goes Rick Martell. Now, this is hard concrete down there. And how'd you like to be knocked out of the ring and wind up on the concrete floor in front of brushes? Well, no matter where you're going to concrete it, it hurts. A one-woman nest of vipers, brushes, operating verbally on Rick Martell. She did cleverly distract the referee there earlier. We'd have had a disqualification already. When Garvin saw that the referee was distracted, he tried to put Martell out of it by putting him over the top rope. Martell is moving. Here he comes. Oh, what a slam, Martell. With all guns firing now, swing. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin in the turn level two. Listen to the crowd count with him. One more. Martell turning Jimmy Garvin. What next? What will he do here? Super like all backbreaker. Martell. This could be a two. Oh, no. Garvin had a leg on the rope. Garvin got a leg on the rope, and but for the grace of that, it would have been over. So Martel goes back to work, pounding away. Martel net. can't lose his head here when he wants to get disqualified. I'll tell you, Bernie's got that French Canadian blood, and it gets him on a mighty angry condition sometimes. He lets his temper get the better of him. As I said earlier, here's one Laura Smith would like to have out of the Meadowlands. Oh. I'll tell you, you fans in the New York area, if you ever... Now, look at this. What is Garvin pulling out of his trunks? I... Look out. Wait a minute. Garvin pulling something out of... It looks I like brass... see that. Looks like brass knuckles. Look out. He slams it down. He had brass knuckles. He had brass what? knuckles. Precious now is cracking Bob Warren up, and there's a... Oh, oh no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You saw it clearly. Brass knuckles. You saw it clearly. Cannot be. It was definitely. Oh, wow. Well, Bryce Knuckles handed to him by Precious out there. Uh, Dennis Hilgard, matchmaker here at the showboat, in the ring with the referee. Brass Knuckles pulled out of the trunks by gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Oh, who I really saw it on television. This, oh, look at this. And he's given the belt. Referee Bob Warren has given the belt back to Rick Martell. But Garvin's still on the attack. Now, wait a minute. There's Martell over the top rope, but the match is over. The match is over. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin feeling he had it won, but wait a minute. Now, now watch. Here, is this where it happened? I did not see it. Watch but Garvin. I, there we are. That's where it was. Yes, it was. Here it is on the replay. The it was his back is turned. It was Precious that Precious. had it. Or is he pulling it out of his trunks? Or he's doing something. I think Precious might have given it to him. Now watch this. Watch the right hand of gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Martell feeling he's got it made. Watch the right hand of Jimmy Garvin. Behind his back. Off the ropes. Now watch this. There it is. There it is. Pulling them off up under the armpit on the right arm. You can see it right there sticking out under the armpit. As Garvin goes for the cover. But clearly the brass knuckles burned on you. Let's go now. Boy, this is not going to be the end of this one. Let's go to Ken Resnick for more. All right, well, now, Jimmy Garvin. This is How do you like Mar it? Understand How do you like belt belongs to Rick Martell. What are you talking about? It belongs to Rick Martell. The referee, promoter Dennis Hilgard, came in and informed the referee. I won the, the title. You, you I won the title. It's my title. I'm the heavyweight. That's my title, Bill. It's the still the heavyweight champion. I won the title. 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 I won one, two, three. I should be a heavyweight champion now, of the world. Well, it didn't look that way, but the referee reversed his decision. He's the one. Obviously, you used something illegal. He's the one race. that had the paraphernalia. He had some paraphernalia in his trunks. 
I picked it up off the mat. I tried to it. give it to the referee. It was and they blame it on me. It was very apparent on the replay that Precious gave you something no. before no. No. that came no. Rick Martell. That came out of Martell's trunks, and I picked it up to get it out of the ring, and the referee blamed it all on me. I won the title. I'm the world heavyweight champion. This should be my title. I beg to differ again, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Martell, still heavyweight champion of the world. We'll be right back, right here on Pro Wrestling. And now the capacity crowd, all kinds of controversy surrounding that heavyweight championship match we just saw. But in the end, Vern Gagne, Rick Martell, a fallen Rick Martell, prevailed, and as I understand, is still heavyweight champion. Well, I couldn't say he's a fallen. I think he was, uh, he was certainly hammered behind the neck there by the uh, foreign object that uh, uh, Precious obviously gave to uh, uh, gorgeous Jimmy uh, uh, Garvin and uh, put him down. But it certainly was a legal move. Thank goodness the matchmaker, everybody here in the arena saw it. They reversed that decision and disqualified Garvin for what he did, and that's the way it should have been. Uh, too many times these things have happened. They've got away with it, and titles have changed hands under these types of conditions. There's no way do we want that to happen in the AWA or the NWA. Well, there's no question that for a few moments this crowd was stunned when it looked like Jimmy Garvin had indeed become the heavyweight champion. Well, that's right, and usually the referee uh, calls it as he sees it. He did not see what Garvin had done, and, uh, of course, we got that decision. However, it was reversed in this case. Well, Vern, I am certain we have not heard the end of Rick Martell and gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. That's right. But next week, I want to say right here on Pro Wrestling USA, a big announcement the promoter asked me to make. Okay. That, li listen to this one and hang on to your seats because it's the one, again, people have been waiting for. The fabulous ones to wrestle for the title against the Road Warriors. Now, that'll be right here next week right on here. Pro Wrestling USA. Right, right here at the showboat, Pro Wrestling USA, right here. Plus, another great surprise to be announced. So, have your friends.